Hi friends, welcome to my channel Simplify Your Schooling. This is math series of class 4 and today's topic is subtraction. As we all know, subtraction means minus. So in subtraction, the greater number from which we are subtracting is called the minuend and the number which is subtracted is called the subtrahend and the result is called the difference. Suppose 25 minus 15 is equal to 10. So the greater number from which we are subtracting is called the minuend and the smaller number which we are which is subtracted is called the subtrahend and the result is called the difference. Now let's see the properties of subtraction. Property of 0. If 0 is subtracted from any number, the difference is the number itself. 24 minus 0 is equal to 24. So if 0 is subtracted from any number, the difference is the number itself. Second property, property of 1. If 1 is subtracted from any number, the difference is the producer of that number. 15 minus 1 is 14. So, if 1 is subtracted from any number, we get the producer of that number. So, as we know, the 14 is the producer of 15. Property 3, subtraction from itself. If a number is subtracted from itself, the difference is 0. 16 minus 16 is equal to 0. So, these are the three properties of subtraction. Now, let's see the subtraction without borrow. So, subtract 5124 from 9476. So, first in subtraction, we write the greater number. So, greater number is here 9, 4, 7, 6. And we have to subtract 5124 from this number. 5, 1, 2, 4. This is the sign of subtraction. So, before subtraction, First, we'll write the place value of all the digits. So this is ones, this is tens, this is hundred, and this is thousand. Now we'll do the subtraction. So subtraction is always started from the ones place. So in ones place we have six minus four. Six minus four is two. Now tens place seven minus two. Seven minus two is five. Now, subtraction of 100 place. 4 minus 1 is 3. Now, at 1000 place, we have 9 minus 5. That is 4. So, this is the difference of the number 9476 and 5124. So, in subtraction, we have to start from the 1's place and 1 by 1 will move to the higher place values. Now, let's see. Subtraction with borrow. So suppose I take this example. Subtract 4728 from 8354. So the greater number here is 8354. And we have to subtract 472. So, first we'll write the place value of all the digits. This is 1s, 10s, 100, this is 1000. So, as we all know that 1 tens is equal to 10 ones and 100 is equal to 10 tens and 1000 is equal to 10 hundreds. So if we have to borrow 1 tens, so if we want to borrow 1 tens, so that will be 10 ones. And borrowing 100 is equal to the 10 tens. 1000 borrow is equal to the 
10 hundred borrow. So let's see the subtraction. We'll start from the ones place. So in ones place we have 4 minus 8. So 4 minus 8 is not possible. Subtracting from the smaller number is not possible. So, so 4 need to take borrow from the tens place. So here the number is 5. So it will take 1 tens borrow here. So if I take 1 tens, so that will be 10 ones. So this 5 will give 1 borrow to the ones. So it, now it will become 4. 5 minus 1 is 4 and it, it has given 1 tens. 1 tens that means 10 ones. So in ones place what came 10. So now 10 and the original number was 4. Now 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. So now this number has become 14 now because 4 minus 8 is not possible. So it has taken borrow from the tens place. So what it has taken 1 tens. 1 tens is equal to the 10 ones. So now what came here to the ones place that is 10. Now 10 plus 4 became 14. Now we'll do 14 is a greater number. So 14 minus 8 is possible. So now we do the subtraction. 14 minus 8 is 6. So the subtraction of the ones place is done now. Now we'll see the tens place. So now earlier the number was 5. Now 5 has given borrow to the ones place. So the 5 has become now 4. Now we'll do the subtraction. So 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So the tens place is also done. Now we'll move to the hundred place. So what we have in hundred place? 3 minus 7. So 3 minus 7 is not possible because 3 is smaller than 7. So what 3 will do? It will take borrow from the thousands place. Okay. So what it will take borrow? 1000. And we know that 1000 is equal to 10 hundreds. So this 8 will give borrow to this 3. So now 8 will become 7. 8 minus 1 is 7. And what he uh, it has given? 1000. 1. So 1 is equal to 10 hundred. 1000 is 10 hundred. So now what came here? 10. So 10 plus 3. Now it became 13. So 13 is a greater number. So 13 minus 7 is possible. So 13 minus 7 is 6 here. Okay. Now we'll move to the thousand place. So now 8 has become 7 because it has given borrow to the hundred place. So now 7 minus 4 is 3. Now let's see some different types of questions asked in subtraction. So in subtraction, we have studied subtraction without borrow, subtraction with borrow. So now in exams, some types of question asked subtraction along with the rounding numbers. So uh, the rounding number topic I have already covered in my previous video. So if you want to know about that, please watch that video. Now let's see this question. Estimate the difference between 1625 and 4351 by rounding off the number to the nearest 100. So first the numbers we have to subtract is this one and this one. So first we need to round off these numbers to the nearest 100 and then find the difference. So first take this number 1. 6, 2, 5 and we have to round off to nearest 100. So this is 1's, 10's, 100. So this is the 100 place where we have to round off. So this is our rounding number 6 and we know the rule that the number just right to the rounding number if it is from 0 to 4, then keep the rounding number as it is and change all the right side digits to 0. So here the number right side of 6 is 2, which comes in between 0 to 4. So we keep the 6 as it is and change all the right side digits to 0, 0. So 1625 is rounded off to 1600. Let's see the other number 4, 3, 5, 1. So we have to round off to nearest 100. So this is 1's, 10's, 100 place. So 3 is our rounding number. And the rule says if the digit just right side of the rounding number 
is from 5 to 9 then add 1 to the rounding number here so this the right side digit is 5 here so we need to add plus 1 to the rounding number so the rounding number will become 4 and change the right side digits to 0 0 so here 0 and 0 and 4 as it is so 4 3 5 1 is rounded off to 4 4 double 0 so we have to find the difference now first we have rounded off the numbers this one and this one was the given number and we have rounded off to nearest hundred place and now we will find the difference so 4 4 0 0 minus 1 6 0 0 so this is ones place this is tens this is hundred and this is thousand so 0 minus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 4 minus 6 is not possible so it will take borrow from here thousand place so 4 will give borrow so it will become 3 and here we have taken 1000 so that is 10 hundred so now 10 plus 4 is equal to 14 so now 14 minus 6 is possible so 14 minus 6 is 8 so this number becomes 14 this number becomes 14 so now 14 minus 6 is 8 here and here in thousand place the 4 has become now 3 so 3 minus 1 is so this is the final answer this is the final answer so first we have rounded off these numbers to the nearest hundred place and then find the difference okay now let's take one more example so in exams the question can be asked in other way also that first first find the difference and then round off it to the nearest hundred or thousand place Now, here we have to find the difference between the these two numbers and, and then round off the difference to the nearest 100. In earlier question, we have first rounded off the numbers and then find the difference. But here we have to find the difference first and then round off the difference. So, the number is 876 minus 405 so first we'll write the place value ones tens and hundred so now ones place will start the difference from the ones place uh, six minus five is one then hundred place uh, uh, tens place we have a seven minus zero is seven now the hundred place we have a 4, 8 minus 4 is 4. So, the number we got, the difference is 471. Now, we have to round off this difference to the nearest 100. So, this is 1s, 10s, 100. So, this is the 100th place. So, this is our rounding number. And we all know the rules 0 to 4. Keep the rounding number as it is. 5 to 9 and add 1 to the rounding number so the digit just right side of the rounding number here is 7 so it, it is in between 5 to 9 that is 5 6 7 8 and 9 so so we need to add 1 to the rounding number so rounding number will become 5 here and the rest right side digit will be 0 0 so 471 is rounded off to 500 so this is the final answer. Now let's take one more example. Here the question is asked like find the difference between the largest four digit number and the smallest four digit number. So as we all know the largest four digit number is 9, 9, 9, 
9 and the smallest four digit number is 1 0 0 0 so now we can find the difference 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 minus 1 0 0 0 so this is ones tens hundred and thousand so answer is 9 minus 0 9 9 minus 0 is 9 9 minus 0 is 9 9 minus 1 is 8 so this is the final answer so I have covered all the topics in subtraction. First, we have started with the, what is uh, minuend, what is subtrahend, what is the difference. Then we have seen the properties of a different uh, subtraction. Then subtraction without borrow, subtraction with borrow, and subtraction with the rounding numbers, and the uh, subtraction of the largest and the smallest four-digit, five-digit numbers. So I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching my video and do subscribe my channel Simplify Your Schooling. Thank you.